Well, welcome to Station 7. On the first day of the week, very early in the morning, the women took the spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were wondering about this, suddenly two men in clothes that gleamed like lightning stood beside them. In their fright, the women bowed down with their faces to the ground, but the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, he is risen. Remember how he told you while he was still with you in Galilee. The Son of Man must be delivered over to the hands of sinners, be crucified, and on the third day be raised again. Then they remembered his words. That's from Luke chapter 24, verses 1 through 8. The tomb is empty for all. And in the midst of uh, these seasons of uncertainty, people need hope. So take some time and pray for our country, city, and others around us that they might find the hope of resurrection. And in the face of death, uncertainty, and powers beyond their control, Jesus rises from the dead and instills hope in his early followers. How does the resurrection give you hope for today? Fill in that blank. How does the resurrection give you hope? The resurrection gives me hope because blank. I don't know what it is for you, but the resurrection gives me hope because I know that that power, that life-giving power walks with me every day. I have access to it all the time because the veil was torn, and that's what gives me hope.